The fall split of Sierra West has been absolutely insane. Longtime veterans of Clash Royale Esports have been showing why they are the best in the world, while first-time rookies we've never seen before show why they deserve to compete on the same stage. These are the top 5 plays from weeks 1 and 2. This first play is by Sierra rookie Machifu of Pain Gaming. The clip speaks for itself as Machifu completes his King of the Hill sweep against Baron. The look on Baron's face is priceless as he knows he has been completely outplayed because of Machifu's clutch tornado. Machifu's ability to play both sides of the arena is amazing as he uses his log to redirect Baron's Musketeer onto the Ice Golem, while also dealing with his 10 elixir push on the opposite side. Expo hasn't had a lot of success in Sierra West but this was definitely a match to remember. The next play is between Wings and Misfits Gaming against Yure of Fnatic. Here we see Wings getting amazing value from his lightning, using it to take out the Baby Dragon, the Goblin Brawler, and even hitting his opponent's Princess Tower for a huge positive elixir exchange. Not only that though, it forces Yure's Princess Tower to retarget onto Wings' Baby Dragon. This lets Wings' Royal Giant get so many more hits, even though it only had a sliver of HP left. This one push took away Yurei's significant Princess Tower lead and ultimately won the game for Wings. We've been seeing Fisherman in basically every single archetype in Clash Royale because of his amazing utility. In this match between Royal and Lensei, we see one of my favorite interactions using the Fisherman. Royal has his super threatening dual lane push happening, and Lensei uses his Skeleton Giant to try and deal with the Balaram, but the Fisherman completely removes the Skeleton Giant from the Balaram. The Battle Ram connects to Lensei's tower, and because of the Fisherman, deals massive damage. Royal does not let up, and continues to assert dual lane pressure. This overwhelms Lensei and wins Royal the match. The next play is between Canario of Team Liquid against Skills of Dignitas, where both players are so close to taking out each other's towers. Skills plays a Royal Giant in Canario's pocket and only needs two hits to put Canario in lightning range. So against most players, this would be the end of the match. Canario, however, is not most players, and he places the most perfect zap that allows his Inferno Dragon to incinerate the Royal Giant and deny that second hit. A super close match, but Canario is able to take the victory thanks to his clutch zap plays. Our last play showcases the newly reworked Executioner with Sam of SK Gaming against Oxalate of Dignitas. Look at how much value this Executioner gets. It helps take out the giant before it's able to get even close to the tower. It helps eliminate this Musketeer Witch Dark Prince push alongside the Valkyrie. And then, while counter pushing with the balloon, makes Oxalate's only two air counters vanish into thin air. <laughs> Sam's precision tornado placement and zap timing was an absolute treat to watch. So those were the top 5 plays from weeks 1 and 2 of CRL West. Every single player is giving it all they got, and any team can take the crown. Join us on Saturdays and Sundays to see more epic gameplay, and we'll see you in the next top 5 plays. And also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of this next level gameplay. Thanks for watching!